Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. My brother-in-law and I have a lot of cedar resawing to do in the near future. So for this, we want to have a nice, sturdy, and smooth resaw fence to be able to complete our task. So today, we're going to build this resaw box fence out of some reclaimed melamine shelving. Stick around. Hope you enjoy. I start by cutting the recycled melamine shelf to length at the miter saw station. I then head to the table saw and rip them to width. I use some leftover half inch MDF for the back. With all the parts cut, I use my square and tape measure to lay out the power head screw locations. The power head screws are made by FastCap and these are 3 inches long and have a very large head on them. They provide incredible holding power and are typically used for hanging cabinets and other structural applications. But this is a great application for the strength and rigidity. I attach the top and bottom with the help of some clamps to keep everything flush. I pre-drill with the power head countersink bit and then drill a longer pilot hole as the particle board core tends to split easy. I temporarily attach the middle support with CA glue and then drive power head screws like normal. But because I installed it at a slight angle, I mark the ends of the board and connect it with the line and make sure my screws are on that line. I attach the MDF back in the same way, a little CA glue and follow up with power head screws. I didn't have a piece that was big enough so I used two scraps to make the back. To use this fence, you need to do a test cut to figure out the drift in your bandsaw. Mark a line the same thickness you want to resaw on a scrap board. Cut straight on that line and angle the board to keep it straight. Halfway through the line, stop and shut off the saw. Blow any dust and gently move the fence towards the scrap board. The fence is now at the correct angle to compensate for any drift. Apply two to four clamps and give the saw a try. Well, what do you guys think? Uh, it's nothing special, nothing innovative about it. Um, it's quite honestly crude uh, with the reclaimed melamine. You could get as fancy as you want with this with uh, T-Tracks in there for whatever with feather boards um, or uh, just nice plywood. I had some melamine uh, shelving left over and it worked out perfect as this smooth surface is going to be perfect for resawing. My brother-in-law has a power feeder over here, so there's going to be a pressure power feed roller on this side of the resaw cedar boards that we're going to be able to run through here. So it's imperative that this thing be nice and sturdy, um, hence the box and glue and power head screws to keep this thing nice and square. And then on the bottom, we're going to have a couple clamps on each side of it to keep it in place, and then also uh, one clamp on each side behind it to prevent it from getting shifted um, as that power feeder presses and uh, applies some force to run our material through the resaw fence. Let me know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'll be happy to provide some feedback. Um, again, this was a quick and dirty project. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I encourage you to follow us on social media as we have exclusive tool review updates, project updates, and exclusive social media giveaways. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.